Hi guys, my name is Paige Kocha. I discovered like being online was more fun than being with friends around. So I learned a lot from where I was like, I can, you know, tell that the online dating was kind of like, you know, a smug. Sometimes people you find scammers, sometimes you just even find genuine people who just want to, to have a talk with you. So the first thing that I like I've been there not you know I've been 17 being 16 being 18 how it is so there was this a site um it's called Moco Space I don't even know these sites if they're still around you know Moco Space uh Lift Up there's so many dating sites that I can give you I don't know if you remember the links but I I think down below I'll put the links because there are so many dating sites that I've been I think of all my life from being a teenager to, to you know growing up i've been i think on 50 websites and uh, fi and you know in those websites there were dating apps you know there were links that i was finding you know mm, a lot of strange things goes around those dating sites trust me you'll find weird people just want there are those sites where you just go randomly you don't even know what you expect you just sign up and that's why I, you know, my name really sounds good because I liked it because Pesh, okay, Pesh, I went with it. So I developed a thing whereby I wouldn't use my real name, then I'll just use like Pesh Babe, and then I'll just say Pesh Bay, then I'll maybe just go Pesh Pay, you know, just making my name username sound more sexy you know then when i take pictures i'll take those pictures where but i look like okay this is a sexy look right you know i'll, I'll lick my you know i just want to attract people like i attract men to come to my page and i used to do that and it really brought a lot of people so one thing that i'll tell you about dating sites dating sites are good and they're bad there's some dating sites where people are just going to be perverts <laughs> like one experience that i had when I went to to Tag, you know, Tag, I met a lot of people from different countries. Cause Tag was one once it's one site where you do videos, like you know, we go live and then people would watch you, and then they tell you to do nasty stuff. It depends on what you're gonna do, you know, on that site. For me, I really went on that site to do something nasty because I was young, you know, I was happy. I wanted to do something, you know. But one thing is, I never went naked. But I could show my boobs and whatever, blah, blah, stuff. But I would never, you know, go all the way and show my nakedness because people block you and whatever. And then there was this called WAP. I don't know, people, you know, there's so many sites that I can tell you that I've experienced weird stuff. And I was like, God, is this what we're going through? You know, sometimes when you just sit back, right now I'm sitting in the bathroom, so don't... To, you sit back and just realize, realize that what the hell have I been doing you know the first experience that I had the very first experience that I had I met this guy it was a it was from DRC Congo that's Africa this guy was into me like seriously into me he could send money from Western Union he could send uh, rappers we call them Chitenges back home like you know and then you could send money. You know, Western Union, somebody sending you those days a 20, you know, $20 was something. It was a lot of money for an 18-year-old girl. So then I was like, okay, so this is how the internet works. Then I was like, I'm going to go for it. That's how I started going online. Then I started checking out dating sites. I went to Bado. I went to Tagged. I went to WAP. I went to Afro dating, I went to Christian dating, I went to, damn, I went to a lot of dating sites. Some of them, I can't even remember them, but there were so many dating sites. So I had a friend of mine, you know, where these guys were by their soldiers, you know, especially, uh, I don't know if it's proof or... After date, I don't know. I don't know. Among us, the you know the cheap dating site that you don't pay for. I went, I went on one dating site. So that same guy was talking to my friend, as so which I didn't know. But we, you know, these scammers, that's how they do it. They would find people who live in the same country and then they scam them. 
So now what happened to me, he sent me a message and by that time I was working, I was now working for an internet company. He sent me a message, you know me, I love you, whatever, I want you to come to my country or maybe I'll come to your country, tell your parents about me. The guy was serious. When I tell him that, oh, can we do a video chat? You know where the Skype, you know, you, you what happened is when you going on a dating site, you want to move to another, you know, another side that you can see somebody. Then you say, okay, give me a Skype uh, thingy, Skype uh, name. I'll search for you, then we can talk from there, at least we can video call, or we go on uh, WeChat, or we go on uh, Snapchat, you know Snapchat, that's just, it came, you know, but there was WeChat, there was a uh, Kik, if those people, who know, remember those, you know, video sites, Kik, whatever, so, then the guy was like, no, at the moment my internet is bad, and I was like, mm, internet bad, so, are you on the, are you on, in the mountains or where, because internet now is, it's like everywhere. Somebody shouldn't be lying to you that there's no network. Network is like we're in the 5G. Hello? We are in the 5G mode. 4G, 3G. Where else? Unless if you're telling me you're in 10, 4,000 feet down. I don't know where. Even in space, there's network. So, what the hell? That's why you need to see red flags. Especially for, you, for me and my young ladies who are coming up. Those are the red flags. Red flags in online dating. The moment that you tell somebody, let's do a video chat, and they give you an excuse of the internet, or the phone is broken, or they're using somebody, just know that's a red flag. When you tell them to send you a picture, tell them to send you a picture with maybe telling them to do something, maybe to hold their face. Or those are the things that you need to look out for. And those are the things that I did because I, I, I already, I'm already like, I was experienced in this network. So I know how to work with it. So the guy, I told the guy, okay, um, let's go do a uh, Skype. We, we go do a Skype call. I've got no problem. I'll talk to you. And then he called me. Then, oh, no, 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 he didn't call me. He said, no, right now I'm in, I'm in the army, but whatever, whatever bullshit, whatever they, they do. Then I was like, okay, if you're in the army, in the army, there's a day that they ask for days that you, you know, call family or whatever. No, right now I can't do that. I was like, okay. Then I, I never said wanted to say anything. I was just wanting to move up with the flow because I knew that the guy was already a scab. Then he said, no, give me your, give me your address so that I can send you a package. I've got a package for you. I've got an iPhone. You know, <clears throat> we ladies we get so much excited about iPhones, iPads, whatever you call them. Uh, tablet, uh, whatever, MacBook. I was like, you know, those things, for me, an iPhone is not something that I would say I want in my life. Like, it's something that I would want. If I want an iPhone, I would buy an iPhone. It's just humanness, I'll buy it. But then, it's not something that is in my my mind that, okay, I need an iPhone. No, 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 no. I like my Android. I like my Samsung. Samsung, LG, yeah. I know iPhone is a good product and it's, you know, it has got good graphics and whatever, and really camera, but I love my LG phone. So then I told him, like, oh, you're sending me all that? Oh, okay. So what I did was, I didn't give him my actual address at home. I gave him just a made up address. So that's to see how it's going to be done. Okay. Then he said, okay, I'll give you, let me give you your address. So I gave him the address. Right there, I did. Then he said, no. Uh, oh, then he went on. You know, when, go, when you go to Google, that's why I, I tell you, there's so many apps and so many things that you can really find out that the person is, you know, is a scammer. So I tell him, okay. Um, he sent me pictures of the things that he's going to send me. So what I did was take each picture and then scan it on Google. And I found those pictures were just random pictures on, on Google. Like I see somebody downloaded the, <laughs> the picture. Edited it a bit and then send it to me as if it's a, it's a gift. And I was like, okay, so these are scammers. This is how scammers do. So I had an experience of that. So then I told, then you know what I told the guy? Then I was like, you know what? I don't need those things. So just give them to charity or, you know, just give them to anybody that you feel like giving them. No, I really want to give them to you. So what you do is just go, the package is going to go to South Africa. They give you a number. And the girl called me in South Africa to tell me she needs my bank details so that I can send her like a 15,000, is it 15, 1,500 rands? 
Then I was like, why would I want to be sending you 1,000 rand? That's South African money. Why would I want to be sending you that kind of money? That's how they come. So meaning the scammers were in South Africa. They were not even anywhere in the world or they were not even in the US world. They were just in South Africa. So I said, I cannot do that. You went where your gift can be. That's how me, I, I deleted and blocked the guy. To her and her, that's the name. A week ago, a friend of mine comes again and says, ah, you know what? I have a new boyfriend. You know how women, we get excited. Hey, we get too excited. <laughs> then she was like, no, I found a new guy. He likes me and he's in the army. He even sent me pictures that he bought me. Um, he bought me an iPad, he bought me some other things. So I was like, please, let me even go and show you the messages. Because I, what I did, I never used to delete all my messages. Because a lot of people used to come to me, they tell me, you know what, there's a guy that I'm dating right now, and you know, he's a bad one. So I told them, you know what, I'll be keeping these things so that every person who's coming, especially girls used to come, because my friend, I used to have a lot of friends. So like, girls or girls will come, oh. So I'll show them, <laughs> this is what's happening. I do this every day. In the morning, like, you know, I used to work from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. somewhere there. So, I would, my extra times at work, I would check out on how people are doing the scamming stuff. Don't get me wrong, the people are good. The people are just on online, on online dating, on online apps, on online links for love. And just to look for somebody that they can talk to because sometimes your life is boring whereby you're just talking to the same people over and over again so there's that time that you need just a connection with somebody that you don't know but at least you know i have a picture you can talk to that person i have had about seven or eight friends of mine that i've never met but we've been friends for more than 10 years met online talk business online <laughs> talk a lot of relationships online got married have a child they're still hanging. They're still there. I got married again. They're still there because I can talk to them and relate to them. Their issues, they talk to me about like six or seven friends of mine that I have that I've never met. They're in different countries, but I've never met them. Like, but we can talk real life issues as if I'm seeing him right now. I've never actually met them. We've been friends. I don't know. You know, so... Sometimes it's not everyone who's bad online, but just be careful who you're talking to. Some people get other people's pictures, you know, put them, scan them, put especially on Facebook. Facebook nowadays has become so... Facebook and any other app, dating app has become so, you know, when people can take other people's pictures and just put them on the profile. You think that you're talking to actual person that's catfishing you know that's what is that program called catfish and you see what people do like you know i just maybe i have a, a crush on you but i don't want to show you the real face of me and then i go and find somebody maybe a model or somebody who's maybe close to me and then put the picture there because she looks better than me but trust me the actual person that you're talking to and typing is a real person behind you know just be real there's nothing wrong for you to be real in life. Just be real and be what you want to be. And do what you want to do. If you want to go on dating sites, know the actual people that you're talking to deeper. Do not give contact numbers. The person you've just met for, maybe I've just talked for a, a day. Sometimes, you know, when you meet somebody online, it's so interesting. When you meet somebody online, you talk the whole day, you realize that, oh, this person, I've already known them. No, take a chill pill. Take a chill pill and relax. Talk to a person at least three weeks. Then you say, oh, now I'm comfortable to give you now. But some pervert, some pervert, some guys who are weird, they'll tell you, okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter even if you don't give me your number, it's fine. I was like, oh, okay, fine. Go my way or go your way. Well, they say the internet, is, you know, the dating sites are like just like an ocean where you can fish any fish that you want. You can fish a shark. You can fish a snapper, you can fish anything, you can read tuna, whatever. So it's a variety of everybody. All weird people, they are there. Psychopaths are there. Good people are there. Christians are there. Everybody, everybody is not on the Disney side because it's, you know, with this, and then when you come with this, with this even pandemic, you know, you, it's, this is what we're doing right now. We're just talking to people randomly. Like We can just talk to them like, you know calling them on the video calls and whatever so this is what happens 
so the, uh, the other red flags that you see on i'll just give you maybe five or six tips on how to know about red flags uh on on, on the website on your dating site on your dating when you're on your dating site make sure you put content that will attract a person you know when you're doing i can give an example when you're doing a business deal i've done business length but I'm, i haven't really gone to school to go and do it 